How are we looking? Everyone right? Yeah. Okay. Who's driver this? You? You you can drive this. I'll drive it. Mm -hmm. I'll introduce it. I'll introduce it, yeah. Right. Take two. Oh my god. Who's that cute guy in my kitchen? <laughs> Matt Doran. You just help yourself to my chopper and picked up well, my cheese. What about the gumption to just start cooking in Jamie Oliver's kitchen? You didn't even tell kitchen? me you were here. I would have done my hair and got ready and you, I mean, you look pretty good. What's your early comments, feedback on my grading technique? Dude, you, you need to go longer on that stroke. Really? That, that is a, yeah, that's I a I thought my, the length of my stroke dude, was fine. That is, that's a good okay. stroke. Look, the proof but, is in the pudding, right? Okay, right. That, that is a very frigid man's cheese. <laughs> Right? You, you, you need to stop stop tussling with the cheese and give it good, long, hard. See that? See the difference between mine and yours? Yeah. Now we've right, got to okay. teach you how to do carbonara. Righto. Are you right. up for this? I'm up for this. This is fantastic. Pasta. Good. I love pasta. Pasta. We're not pasta. We're not pasta. Pasta. Yeah, you're in England now. With an H. OK. Yeah. Pasta. Pasta. All right, let's cook some pasta. Oh, pasta. Pasta. I've flown to London, not just to master the perfect pasta, I'm here to learn about the man behind the dish. Should we do this interview? Let's do this interview. One of the most likeable and successful chefs in the world, <laughs> Jamie Oliver. Salute! Salute! I don't have kids, I'm not married, but, Yet. I, but I imagine my top life moments will go something like this. Wedding day, when my children are born, and then a very, very close third, each and every time I eat lasagna. Is it similar for you? Comfort food. Yeah, comfort food. Like a little food. hug. Like a, well, like a big hug. Do you need a lot of attention? I'm very needy. Yeah, yeah, so you need a lot of I'm love. very, very needy. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is good. We're How about learning, you? We're learning so much about each other today. Um, I, I like a hug. I do love a hug. Do you? I don't think there's enough hugs in the world. There's not enough lasagna hugs in the world. Yeah. I, do you want a hug? Would you mind? Come on, it's just... It looks a bit early for a hug, but I mean, one, one question in and I have a hug. Come on! On the subject of passion, when it comes to food, Jamie's great love is Italian. I know you're going to love it. And today he's going to teach me how to cook a classic, carbonara. A lot of people get it wrong, so I'm going to show you how to get it right. Mm. And it's, it's a great old story of... I mean, I mean, even that is dramatic. Yeah? You know, I mess around with a knife and I was you know, trying to open Do you want me to get you a packet and have a go yourself? Oh, to be honest with you, I would love nothing Hold this more thought. than that. So there you go, mate. Right on. Grip it. Is there a technique here? Or Grip it by the shaft yeah. and then just bash it equally on there. Well, just once. You went for the second I went for the, I went for the double bash. Yeah, 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 that's good. Well, because yeah, it was the lack of confidence so look, that it would work look, first time. If you get that nice girl home and you say, listen, babe, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> so, oh, I fancy some pasta. And you go, a clink. You're already halfway You're there. You're the moment began. One of the main ingredients of Jamie's popularity is undoubtedly his charm. Fortune. Mix that with some serious business savvy and a dash of good fortune and you have one of the most successful foodies of all time. And then, of course, there's his relentless work ethic, ingrained by his dad at the family pub as a kid. Well, the old man put you to work pretty, pretty quick smart yeah. at year eight and at the pub in Essex. Right? Yeah, he was pretty tough. What do you have you doing? It's everything. There's not a job like, you know, cleaning toilets regularly. <laughs> Um, polishing the brass next to the men's urinal. That's always a nice one. Thanks for that. Mm. Um, bottling up, bottle baskets, mopping, dishwashing, burning the boxes, cleaning the yard, sweeping the car park, two big car parks. Yeah, everything, every job. But it's good. I think it's good. It's good for kids, man. I mean, I, I know I'm a bit older now, but, you know, um, working, growing up in a family business was really precious to me. You know, I lived above the pub. I lived in the pub. <laughs> Jamie applied his pub skills to the London restaurant scene. How's it going, man? Where he stood out as fresh-faced, charismatic and talented. Hey, buongiorno, signore. The perfect fit for a new TV series, The Naked Chef. Naked is what I call my way of cooking. It's got to be simple, it's got to be tasty, it's got to be fun. It was amazing. I mean, look, The Naked Chef was a phenomena. It, it really was. I mean, it, I, I was so green, so naive. I always wanted to go to Australia, never thought I'd get there. Honestly, never thought I'd get there. And um, the first country that took 
the book and the TV series was Aussie. And I was welcomed with open arms and, and have been ever since. And I really, really appreciate that. We broadcast on 220 channels now and it's just nuts. First things first, let's talk about nuts. It's been nuts now for more than 20 years. Boop, boop, boop. Admittedly, in recent times, there's been some setbacks, which we'll get to later. There's a couple of things that need to sort of happen now. But he still runs a company employing almost 8,000 people. So today we're going to make the most amazing panzanella salad. Jamie's TV shows are broadcast to all corners of the globe and he's sold 41 million books, making him the UK's second most successful author after J.K. Rowling. Not bad for a, for a bloke with dyslexia. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you didn't read a book yourself till what, mid-30s? I spent my secondary school education being yanked out of class into special needs classes, right? Mm. And um, just did really shit in all my exams. Boom! Ooh, oh, oh, oh. But now the tables are turned. Half a pack, right? We're gonna make this carbonara. Jamie's the teacher. And today, he's contending with a less than gifted student. So this next bit, I think you're going to over-deliver in. This is called the basket weave. Have you ever done the basket weave? I haven't done the basket okay. weave. Is that a dance so move? So this is going to get weaved. Well, hang on, so you just, just it's just a, got, it's a you, swivel. You, you just let a legal one. It's, it's just one row. Okay, so, so it's just one row. Right. So basket it's just, weave. So hang but on. But do it with a bit more romance. <laughs> so then am I, and I let it go, right? Yeah, but do it out in, uh, a bit higher. Yeah, okay. And be proud of yourself. Okay, and then just, just a bit of that. Let me do it. I'm going to basket it for you because you've, you've, you've let yourself down. I want Australia to be proud would of you. Have, would you describe that as elegant? Was well, there a well, bit of... what are you doing? Yeah. No, just completely useless. <laughs> right, let's, let's start again. Let's go again. Take two on the basket weave. Sorry, Australia. So you can just kind of crudely chop this up. I'm finding that cooking with Jamie involves a little more than just making a meal. One moment, he's showing me how to throw pasta. Have a go at tossing and we'll continue that therapy. That's quite cathartic. Then next, he turns his hand to fortune telling. Now, can I make an assumption? Yeah, go on. Are you single? <laughs> are you single, can yes? Can you tell that by... Can, are you <laughs> single, gonna, yes or no? Trying to work out how to finish that sentence, yes. OK, Let, let's you fix... You can tell that by okay. that technique, can't you? Gravity is your best friend right. sometimes, right? So let gravity, mm -hmm. and then you pop back. So just let it, point it down and then toss. If you can't toss your carbonara, you'll be single when you're 90. Have a go. That's it, you're a much better tosser now. Okay. Because of me. There you go. So you go and you tell everyone, Jamie said. I'm a better tosser because of him. Yes. I reckon one week. <laughs> Australia, come on, look, he's a lovely boy. <laughs> he can now make carbonara. In a minute, he can make carbonara. This is. Hit him up on the comments on the Twitter feed of the channel. How about this? Let's An endorsement him, from Jamie. If we get him sorted in the next month, right, I'll, I'm really good for cheap catering at weddings. Come on, Australia. Wow. And let's open cheap it up. Cheap catering Man, woman wedding. or animal, you can have him. <laughs> you fussy? Yeah. He's not fussy. Take what I can get, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> in under 20 minutes... Now we go in with the eggs. It all comes together on the plate. Jamie Oliver's Roman-style carbonara. Mr Cameraman, please, come forth. While it's steaming, while we have a, an opportunity... What would be amazing is if you could pull focus from this lovely tuck carbonara, give it two beats and then pull focus to this lovely single man, <laughs> which is now open to Australia. And you're going to have a wicked catering at the wedding. That is fantastic. So what you could sort of say is, you know, well, now I can technically cook a good pasta as verified by... Long strokes, by, long yeah. strokes, yes. <laughs> as verified by long, Jamie. Yes, verifiable. So you've done ever so well. I'm really proud of you. Is there a potential I could have a little taste of that? Have a little try of that. It's very simple. Mm. Does it need a bit of salt? No. I'm joking. You definitely don't need salt. <laughs> I'm joking. I just thought I'd stretch the friendship a bit. That is fantastic. Go on, you, you carry on eating. That's good. Don't I'm not, carrying on, aren't I? Let's not bring this moment to an end. We've only just got here. Mm. Gee, that's fantastic. Mm. Mm. Who do you know, right, that has hair that can do that? Making great food made Jamie Oliver a household name. We all are passionate about getting you guys able to cook beautiful food. But his proudest creation is this, the Oliver family. Jules, his wife of 18 years, was a childhood sweetheart. 
What's the recipe to success there? Uh, just don't go anywhere else. Yeah. Just, just stay put. <laughs> stay put and behave. Stay put, behave. Don't expect too much and you'll be constantly surprised. Um, <laughs> it's been a really nice ride. I mean, I don't think it's... I don't think any marriage is easy. And, you know, many don't make it. And that's a shame, but that's life. And uh, actually, I've really enjoyed the different Jawses over the years, you know, the mother, and now she's, you know, she's different now than she was in her 30s, you know, and... Uh, you love her in different ways. Yeah, and I love her definitely more, for sure. Jamie and Jules have five children. The youngest is River. <laughs> His older brother is Buddy. There's no way he hasn't been to toilet. I need a toilet. Dude, that is basically, that is my life right there. He's just sprinkle where he wants to. And they have three older sisters, Poppy, Daisy and Petal. Are you the best inventor of children's names in this or any cosmos? Not me, that's my wife. Can you rattle through them all for me as quickly as you can? There's Poppy, there's yeah. Daisy, there's uh, Petal, there's Buddy and there's River. So all, all quite natural. Mainly flowers and a bit of river. Jamie, with names like that, how do you get angry at them? How do you go, for example, pedal, go to your room? I mean, you, have oh, you... Oh, no, it just comes out just fine. Is, does it? No, listen, dude, it ain't the names that are the problem. It's the amount that's the problem. Like, let's just say you're Poppy, right? Yeah. I'll go, Daisy, petal, ah, ah, river, ah, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Poppy. OK, Poppy. Don't do that. Go to your room. Do you like eggs? Yeah. And where do we get eggs from? It is bum. From the chicken's bum. Come on, let's go and get chicken's bums. Being a dad caused Jamie to think more about what his kids were eating at home and at school. He soon realised the food at school tuck shops was often appalling. I'd never seen kids being given pizza of any kind for breakfast before. So began his war on fast food and sugary drinks. Who knows what this is? Potatoes. So you think these are potatoes? Which he blames for an epidemic of childhood obesity. The fat consumed by the entire school for one year. How bad is the problem of childhood obesity in Australia? Like Britain, it's, it's we're a, a really, we try and keep it down, but basically the reality is it's never been worse, really. I mean, you know, countries and populations can be scared of two things. One is hunger and one is obesity. And, and actually we have both in the globe right now. What I find incredibly inspiring... Jamie Oliver is a man who has his finger in many pies, perhaps too many. Oliver promises the Jamie's Italian restaurants are here to stay. Recently, his chain of Jamie's Italian restaurants has hit hard times. Franchises here and in the UK were shut down, millions lost and hundreds of employees laid off. The knives were out for Jamie. You go, Jamie, from hero to villain so quickly you must get whiplash. Yeah, yeah. It must, there must be a heaviness that comes with that. Uh, yeah, there must be a weight. So. Yeah, a huge weight, yeah. I carry lots of burden of stuff, which is my choice to do so. H um, how bad does that burden get, though? How um, dark is it at I times? Think, I think it, was, it was tough, it was really tough. I mean, first of all, I've had my fair share of failure. Um, I think my ratio is looking about 50-50, so don't be under the illusion that I'm... Uh, uh, untouchable. Don't judge me. But I think, look, it's it's all character building stuff. I think, um, do I think that there's a, a place for me to be doing stuff in Australia in the long term? Yes. So we'll see we'll, we'll, you back. We'll see you back in oh, Australia. I'll always be coming back to Australia, not just because of work, because I love it anyway. He may have had a few setbacks, but Jamie's goose is far from cooked. And these latest challenges have made him all the wiser, which is why I thought he could provide me with some homegrown advice. I'll show you a quick video that my friends took at my house the other day. It's a quick video tour of my somewhat Spartan kitchen. Wow! Wow! wow. Hope you pressed the right video. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! You look more masculine in this video. Pardon? You look less sort of effeminate. I've, I've got a bit of a beard video. in that video, that's all. I'm just clean shaven today. And there's some pizza. Oh my God, that's a lot. There's some pizza in the fridge. Oh, dude. 
Your fridge is terrible. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Well, all I would say is, that is a fridge of a sad, lonely person. You know, honestly, we got to have a chat chat. So you have to, first, do you know who you have to love? Love first before you love anyone else? Yourself? Yes. Mm. Love yourself. And your best friend is your? Freezer. Yes. But you can't be eating those Domino's pizza. Domino's, they don't do anything for this planet. That was just a one, it was a one-off. Yes. It was a one-off, Jamie. Do you believe me? I do believe you. I think you've got a lot of potential. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure. I think it's been emotional. Yeah, it's been it's it, been a roller coaster, yeah, hasn't it? Has. It has. I feel like we both need a glass of wine after okay. this, right? Yeah, got some Chianti outside. Some Chianti outside. Let's go and have some. <laughs>